Hello everybody and welcome back. Today we will talk about the summary of the relationship between the energy levels and the orbitals inside an atom. We have talked in the previous videos about the quantum numbers. So for the videos of quantum numbers click on this link here. So first we will begin with the uh, main energy levels. The main energy levels are expressed by the uh, quantum number which is called the principal quantum number and this qu principal quantum number we refer to it as M. So the number of energy levels inside an atom equals this N. So say if I say that an atom has a principal quantum number of 3. This means that the main energy levels in this atom is 3. And we also said that the maximum value for the principal quantum number is 7. A new thing is that we refer to the main energy levels, which are 7 in the atom, by letters. So we begin with K. We have K, L, M, N, O, P, and Q. So this is the um, principal quantum number and the energy level. In order to know the number of orbitals which are found in a certain energy level, we get it from this formula which is n of power 2. So for example, in the energy level number 2, which is L, the number of orbitals in this energy level is 2 of power 2, which is 4. So, that's because we have the s orbital, we have the p, x, p, y, and p, z. So, these are 4. Let's try another one. For example, the energy level number 3. So, 3 of power 2 gives a 9. So, let's see, we have the S, we have the PX, PY, PZ, and we have 5 D orbitals. So, 5 plus 3 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and so on. And in order to know the number of electrons which are found in a certain energy level or which the energy level is capable to carry, we get it from the formula 2 and square. That's because each orbital has a limit of 2 electrons to carry. For example, the second energy level, in order to know the number of electrons which is capable to carry, we type the formula as 2 multiplied by 2 of power 2, which is 2 by 4, to get a final result of 8. So, the energy level 2, or the energy level L, is capable of carrying 8 electrons at most. So, finally, we are going to uh, type the electronic configuration of the uh, energy levels in the electrons, the K, the L, the M, through typing the spin quantum number. And the spin quantum number expresses the uh, direction of rotation of electrons inside an orbital. So the K level is the first energy level. And so, it contains the 1s orbital. This 1s orbital carries two electrons. So, the electronic configuration will be like that. The L is the second, and it contains the 2s and the 2p. And the 2p cons consists of three orbitals, x, y, and z. So, we have... First, we have the s orbitals here. Then we have 
three other orbitals, which is 2px, 2py, and 2pz. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 electrons. The M here, the third one, we got the 2, the 3s, sorry, the 3p, and the 3d. The s orbitals has one orbital, the, the, the p orbitals have three orbitals, x, y, and z, and the d orbitals has five orbitals. So, the configuration will be like this. We have here the 3s, then we have three orbitals, like that, for the p, and another five for the d orbitals. So this is it for today and the next time we will talk about uh, something called uh, the building up principle which was established by a scientist called Aufbau for um, giving us the knowledge of how the electrons built up the atom, how they are arranged in the um, orbitals, in what order are they arranged in the orbitals, and until the next time, I thank you for watching and see you.